This video is going to consist of two parts. The first, to paint an image upside down on this canvas, flip it and see how it turned out. The second part of this challenge is going to be when I paint using this thing. You use it to suspend yourself upside down. Let me show you how it works. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, this is... This is a weird feeling. In the second part of today's video, I'm going to attempt to paint an image upside down while I'm upside down. We like to have fun here on Draw with Jazza and do stupid things. Mostly stupid things. G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza. I'm Jazza and today, as mentioned, I'm going to be creating two upside down paintings for you. Before we leap into the content of today's challenge, I'm excited to let you guys know that this video is a sponsored promotion by Ubisoft and Nintendo for the upcoming game Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. This game is set to release in Australia on August 29th and it stars Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach and Yoshi who team up with the crazy Rabbids to save the Mushroom Kingdom. This game is designed exclusively for the Nintendo Switch so you can play anywhere and at any time with anyone, which is awesome because you can actually play with your friends in co-op mode. I'm going to put the links in the description for you to go check out the game and if you're interested uh, to follow our rabid peach friend here on Instagram. It's been a long time ladies and gentlemen since I've uh, done any traditional painting. I felt like this might get messy so I got a, a little bit of an apron just in case. So here we have a pre-stretched white canvas coated in white gesso, a few layers and set to dry. I feel like I'm the Aussie Bob Ross right now. It's a good feeling. And for my first piece, I feel like it's appropriate to try and paint Mario. So I'm gonna lay out a few colors. Let's, uh, let's have a red. Mario has some blue eyes. Let's get some dark sienna and little bits of black and white. <sighs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna start off with his face area. His chin's gonna be here. And I feel like it goes out and then in a bit. Sometimes I have streaks show up because I didn't mix my color properly. <laughs> like I said, I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like maybe I need to add some darker tones. I'm gonna get this brown and uh, mix it in here so I have a slightly darker tone. So we have the nose here. I'm gonna add some of the darker color around the very edges like this. I'm gonna go back to my other brush which has uh, the light color on it and it's a bit thicker. No, it has the dark color on it. <laughs> See, I told you I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like, you know that dog meme that, I have, you know, where the, the dog's like, you know, in a professional situation and it's just got the caption, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm feeling an awful lot like that dog right now. <laughs> there we go, mix it in, look at that. Gorgeous, oh, beautiful. I'm gonna wash this brush and uh, then you beat the devil out of it. So his mustache is like floofy at the bottom and he has these floofs. See? Floof, floof. It's sort of just <laughs> mixing in with the skin tone. The eyes sort of are behind the nose because he's got a, I mean, let's not be mean, but he's got a robust nose. By the way, if Miyamoto-san watches this, I am so sorry for what I am doing to your creation. <laughs> let's move on. We've got his eyes. What's next? Let's do. Uh, let's do his eyebrows. He's got a. He's got a very, very happy, lifted eyebrow expression. I'm gonna get a little brush. Get a little bit of this brown. I'm actually gonna go around the very edges. I'm gonna do his red top, just coming out like this. Oh man, it's gonna be really hard to paint white on this red because it's just gonna look pink. I'm gonna try and <laughs> scrape some paint off. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. All right, let's get some blue happening, baby. Nice, big, beautiful blue eyes. Now I need to move on to, <laughs> to the white on red. This is, this is destined for failure. This M slash W is very small and wonky. I'm gonna go back to my um, burnt sienna color, this brown. In fact, I'm just gonna get a bit more of this. Water it down a bit. Oh, not that much. <laughs> just try and drip dry the water off of your uh, palette. Man, I really went to town on that. <laughs> Add a bit of darkness around the edge here. All right, and I'm gonna do the same up here around his shoulders. I'm just gonna draw an edge along here. I think this is our finishing touch, you ready? Nice thick splodge and just go Okay, now obviously we have quite a bit of headroom here. So it's gonna look weird if I turn it upside down. The cure for that is to write his catchphrase underneath his head, upside down, and hope it's legible English when we flip it. It's a me. Touch more water. It's a me. All right, I feel like that's it. I feel like it's time. 
for the reveal. Let's do this, you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my upside down painted Mario. Wow! <laughs> oh my goodness, what is that? I thought an S upside down had the, to be the other way, but no. An S upside down, apparently, is exactly the same as an S the right way up. <laughs> this genuinely looks like something that was made by a four year old. <laughs> oh, he's uh, really been eating a few too many mushrooms, maybe. But uh, that aside, I feel like I've, I've got the essence of Mario. You know, look, it's not the worst in the world. His head's a bit bottom heavy. His ears are too high. Ah, oh, Miyamoto-san. I am so sorry. Wait, how do you say that in Japanese? All right. It's okay, I just googled it. Apparently, it's Gomen Nasai. Miyamoto san, Gomen Nasai. <laughs> oh boy. Well, you know what this means? It's time to hang myself upside down by the ankles. <sighs> okay, the time has come for me to attempt to paint Rabid Peach. Now I have her here as a reference. This is a cute little toy, by the way, that Ubisoft sent me. I'm gonna sit her up by the, the canvas and I'm hoping that I'll be able to at least see her for reference. I'm only gonna be able to do this for a very short amount of time, for a number of reasons. The main one being health reasons. <laughs> Blood is going to be rushing to my head and I'm here alone in this room, so I don't wanna pass out and die. Don't try this at home. I probably shouldn't try this at home. The other reason is, mm, yeah, that's pretty much the only reason. <laughs> this is so stupid. All right, let's do this. First things first, let's get stuck into the hair. Oh boy, I know I'm gonna regret this. How am I gonna hold the palette without the paint dripping on my face? Oh my God, okay. Let's just be calm. Ugh. Oh man. All right, let's have her hair flick around the front here. Look, Ma, I'm a professional artist. Okay. Right way up. All right, next color, I'm gonna go for the pink dress. Okay, round two. Ah, okay, there's always that last bit that really takes me by surprise. I am so sorry, Shigeru Miyamoto. Oh, it's not a pleasant feeling. Next comes the fleshy areas. Let's just get this over and done with, okay. Ah, this is the quality entertainment you subscribe to Draw With Jazza for. Belly, belly, belly. And up we go. All right, I'm gonna use some of the skin tone. Mix it in with my gray. Okay, okay, oh my God, okay. Ears, ears, the face is here. Her hand is holding a phone. I'm just gonna, uh, I'm just gonna sit upright for a good 15 minutes. Okay, let's get this over and done with. Let's do this. Okay, crown. Ah, 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 ah. Phone. Uh, uh. Okay, uh, what's next? Gem. Gem. Oh, that worked. Last but not least, pupil. Oh, brush upside down. Ah, let's do it. And I'm done. Oh boy. Easy does it. All right, it's time for the reveal. Put you away over here for now. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a spitting image, that is. Look at that. This, this could go in a gallery. I'd say that's a job well done, wouldn't you? There's something to be said for the challenge and that is that it is indeed challenging <laughs> this this was like this was really hard the upside down one wasn't too too bad uh but yeah it's i mean obviously it's hard to get proportions accurate let's uh, let's not pay too much attention to this one but it, you know what the outcome is sort of fitting given the chaotic nature of the rabbits so just pretend that it was all intentional I want to take a moment to thank Ubisoft and Nintendo for tolerating this as the outcome of their sponsoring my channel. But notwithstanding the quality of my creations, their creation Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle actually looks like a really fun game. Go check out the website and the links in the description. The story of the game is of an unexpected encounter between the iconic Mario and the irreverent, chaotic and cute Rabbids. The Mushroom Kingdoms have been torn apart by a mysterious vortex transporting the chaotic rabbits into the once peaceful area. So it's up to Mario, Luigi, Princess Peach and Yoshi to team up with 
a couple of our rabid heroes on a crazy journey through four different lands. The game features some hectic turn-based combat and co-op challenges, some puzzles along the way, and a feel-good modern combat adventure designed exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. There are over 250 weapons with unique stats and specifications, and it's up to you to form a complementary team of three characters, depending on their archetypes, customize their abilities via their own dedicated skill tree, and thanks to the turn-based system, take all the time you need to think before the enemy strikes back. The game features three levels of difficulty, multiple objectives, play it on your handheld switch or on your TV screen, play anywhere and on the go, and of course, play with your friends in co-op mode. Check out more about the characters and the world and the gameplay types and all the cool stuff with the links in the description. And of course, don't miss out when it comes out on August 29th in Australia. That's it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. I want to thank you again so much for watching. Make sure to like this video if you thought this was a solid attempt. Make sure to subscribe to Draw With Jazz if you want to join us for more fun with art. Otherwise, that's it for now. And until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.